Welcome to Code Jungle. In this video, we will discuss about DFS or Depth First Search Algorithm. DFS is a recursive algorithm which is commonly used in traversing graphs or trees. This algorithm starts at the root or the source node and goes in a specific path or branch unless and until the branch ends. Once the path or the branch ends, it again backtracks to find an unexplored path and then explores it. This method continues till the whole graph or tree has been traversed. In this video, we will discuss about DFS algorithm for trees. There are three methods to execute DFS algorithm for trees. That is pre-order traversal, post-order traversal and in-order traversal. In this video, we will be discussing about in-order traversal for trees. However, we have another videos for DFS for graphs as well as DFS for trees using pre-order and post-order methods. Link for the same has been given below in the description box. To understand in-order traversal, we will consider this tree as an example. In in-order traversals, if we consider any combination of a root node, its left child and its right child, be it this combination or this combination or this combination, the pattern to display the nodes is first the left hand child, then the root node and then the right hand child. So here to begin with, we will enter the root node that is one into the stack and then we will move towards its left hand child node. Here, the left hand child node is 2. Again, we will enter it into the stack and then we will proceed ahead with its next left hand child node. So, the left hand child node for 2 is 4. So, 4 is entered into the stack. Now, again, we will see if 4 has any left hand child node or not. Here, there is no more left hand child node for 4. Hence, this is the node that is 2. 4 and 5 has been considered for in order traversal. Now we will display 4 in the output and we will pop it out from the stack. Now as the pattern is left hand child node, then the root node and then the right hand child node. So we will again move back to the parent node that is 2. So as we go ahead to parent node 2, we will printed in the output. However, as 2 still has a child node that is 5, hence we will not pop it out from the stack. Now, we will go ahead with its right hand child node and we will enter it into the stack. Now, considering 5 as the root node, we will see if it has any left hand child node and right hand child node or not. Here, as 5 doesn't have any left hand or right hand child nodes, Hence, 5 is again popped out of the stack and has been included in the output. Now, we will again trace back to its parent node that is 2. Now, as 2 doesn't have any more child node, hence 2 has been popped out of the stack. And we move to its parent node that is 1. Here, again for 1, as its left hand child node has already been displayed, Hence, 1 gets displayed. However, it will not be popped out of the stack. Reason for this is it still has a right hand child node remaining. So, now we traverse to its right hand child node that is 3. We will push 3 into the stack and then we will check if 3 has a left hand child node or not. Here, 3 has a left hand child node that is 6. So, 6 has been included in the stack and then we will again check back if 6 has a child node which is left hand side or not. Here, there is no left hand child node for 6. In fact, there are no nodes for 6 which are their child node, right? And hence, we again backtrack to its parent node and before that, we pop out 6 from the stack and we display it in the output. Now, Coming to again the parent node 3, we display 3 as well because its left hand child node has already been displayed. And then we move towards its right hand side node. 
However, we do not pop it out from the stack. Reason for this is because 3 still has a child node 7 with it. Now, coming to 7, again we push 7 in the stack. And then we check if 7 has any child elements or not. Now, as 7 doesn't have any child elements, hence 7 is popped out of the stack. At the same time, it has also been included in the output. Now, we again move back to its parent node that is 3. Now, for 3, as there are no more child elements left, hence 3 is popped out from the stack. Again, we move back to the parent node of 3 that is 1. Here, for 1 as well, there are no more child elements remaining, hence 1 is also popped out from the stack. At this point, neither 3 nor 1 were displayed once again in the output because they have already been traversed once, that is at this point and at this point. With this, if we see, we have already completed the stack. All the elements are popped out of the stack. Hence, the algorithm stops over here. Also, if we notice, there are no more unexplored paths in this tree. And that is how we do traverse a tree using DFS algorithm in in order traversal method. That's all for this video. Link for the source code for this algorithm is given below in the description box. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and do comment, share and subscribe to the channel. We will be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching.